My love. Just shut the hell up there. Is everything okay? You and Josephine, what's going on between you two? What kind of question is that? Are you out of your mind? Am I out of my mind? Is that what you're going to tell me? I don't understand all of this. How long have you two been seeing each other? I and Josephine don't have anything together. Stop lying. Stop it, Smith. Please reduce the tone of your voice. Please. Are you going to tell me the truth or not? Yes or no? Can we talk about this at home, please? I'm not sure I can wait that long. I don't want to lose my job here. I can't afford it. So let's leave it till we are home. Your job is more important than me. Let's talk about this at home, please. Damn you, Smith. Stay away from me. Stay away. Oh God, what's all this? Who was that lady, Lawrence? That's my ex. You dated Bianca? Yeah, I did. Why do you seem to be surprised? I'm just kind of surprised. You know her? Yes, she's my next door neighbor. You stay near the house? That's where you got your house? Yeah. Wow, so you must know my bride-to-be, Angel. You are getting married to Angel. You dated the two sisters. Not at the same time, Brown. Different timing. Wow. Yeah, she just acting all jealous because I went for her sister. Normal behavior of women. They don't want you and they don't want someone else to have you. Is everything okay? No, Eva. Why is it that whenever you come, something isn't always good? Not my fault that all this keep happening to me. I know what happened this time around. Lawrence proposed to my sister. Tell me you are joking. I wish I was, but I'm not. He proposed to her and she accepted him. What the? This is crazy. I know, and my mom is in support of it all. This is shocking. I didn't even know what to say. How can my sister be thinking of marrying him? How? Do you think they will really get married? I would not allow it. How can she be marrying him? What does she know about marriage? Isn't she still in school? My mom doesn't care about all this. Your mom is supporting him, I guess, because of his money. Exactly. And he did this on purpose, Eva. I agree. He's doing it to make you feel bad. Why would he try to get back to me through my sister? Why? Or maybe he loves her. What stupid love? He doesn't love her. How long have they even been dating that he will be in love with her? Ask yourself this question. That's true. When did you guys end your relationship? That he now love your sister. I want to marry her. Did you go to see her? I didn't go to see her. So, are you ready to tell me the truth now? Yes, I and Josephine had a thing, but it wasn't serious. You cheated on me, Smith. I did, and I'm sorry. You're sorry? <laughs> what is wrong with you? How can you do this to me? How can you? I was angry with you. You were angry. This was during our break. Yeah. No wonder you didn't call me. You were thinking of moving on with her. I wasn't. I can't do this, Smith. I can't. What can't you do, Karen? I can't marry you, Smith. I need to take in this information first. Our wedding is in three days time. We can't, so We shifted our head. I'm not sure I want to marry you. Karen. You cheated on me. You told me you weren't going to marry me. You made me feel worthless. And she made me feel like a king at that moment. Then you should have married her. I didn't love her. I was just sleeping with her, that's it. And I stopped it when we got back together. And she was mad and angry with me. She's trying to break us. Don't allow her. You are the one who allowed her to break us. Karen. I need to go and clear my head. Damn it, Josephine. What have you done now? What's wrong with you? Your sister will be an hindrance to this marriage. She will not be an hindrance. I will not let her. Why can't she just accept that she lost me? And I'm not interested in her. I don't know why. I'm already making necessary plans for us to leave the country. Are you serious, baby? We are going to leave the country? Yeah, we will. I don't want us to live here, or do you? I don't want to live in Nigeria as well. I want to go abroad. All your dreams will come true with me, I promise you. I'm messed up right now. I know, man. Why would she go and tell her about us? Why? Because you found out the truth and you left her. Why do people always go back on their words? Why? I wish I know why, man. We were just to enjoy ourselves and all, but she went ahead to take pictures of us. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's funny here? That is because she loves you. She doesn't love me, okay? Can you stop saying this? She's been calling non-stop. Which means she loves you? Sending me messages to apologize. I've blocked her everywhere, but she keeps getting another number to apologize to me. She regrets her action. Josephine has done her worst. This is the worst she can do. What else will she do now? Nothing, I think. Yeah, her wedding is few days to go, and Karen is pissed off. As expected. Do you think she will call off the wedding after all the whole preparations that we've put in place? Let's hope she doesn't do that. You have to beg her and talk to her dad to beg her to. Okay, I'll do that. 
But you've got to stop doing this, mate. Stop cheating. I will never cheat again, I promise. Karen, you've got to stop crying, please. How can I stop crying? How? He cheated on me, Mary. I know. He lied to me. All this while we were on a break, he was getting himself involved with another woman. While I was here waiting for him. You've got to put yourself together, Karen. Your wedding is a few days. I'm not sure I want to get married to him. You're not going to marry him. I don't want to. Why would I marry a liar like him? <laughs> no one will force you to marry him. They will. My whole family members are around. They are at home. You can tell them you don't want to be with him if you feel you need space. We've sent the wedding Ivis. It's all out there. We've paid money. All that matter is your happiness. That's what really matter, Karen. Mary, I'm so hot. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> Angel, Sister Bianca, can we talk? Sure. Angel, you know that I'm your senior sister, right? And that I love you with the whole of my heart and I wish you only the best. I think so. You think? So you don't believe that I actually love you? I'm sorry, but I don't believe it, sis. Why not? You're not happy for me, sister. You don't want me to be happy. Is this because of how I've been reacting to you and Lawrence? Yes. Do you still love him, sis? No, I don't love him. Why would I still love a man like him? Since you don't love him, then let me and him be. Let me have him as my own man. Do you know Lawrence? I know him. I don't think so. You don't know him. Do you know what he does every day? Goes to work. Do you know the job he does? Has a lot of companies in the world. What do they do in the companies? Why did he have to run away to South Africa? Sister. Why he doesn't always sleep at home? Sister, I can't know everything about a man. Mom said it. Yes, but you should know some things about a man. Some things, if not everything. I am going to know all this when we get married. Lawrence isn't a man you should get married to, Angel. What do you even know about marriage? Please tell me what you know. Why did I do? Why did I even act like I do? Now he hates me and doesn't want to see me or talk to me. <laughs> Why did I let my anger control me? Why? The number is switched off. He turned off his phone. Why am I never lucky with men? Why is it that the good ones never want to be with me? Am I not good enough for them? Why do they always want to just be with me for the benefit and not even because they truly love me? Why is it always this way? You are still crying. Come on, stop this Josephine. You are meant to be stronger than this. I love him, Eva. I know you love him, but he doesn't love you, Josephine. He doesn't feel the same way for you. He doesn't. I wish he did. <laughs> I'm so unlucky. Who <laughs> is unlucky? Your luck is going to shine today because we are going to go out and meet some men. I don't want to meet anyone. I want Smith. If you can get me Smith, I will be happy. Smith doesn't want to be with you. I'm sorry. The sooner you accept this, the better for you. What did you just say? You are wicked. The truth is bitter, but you have got to allow yourself to allow it. So you will move on. Who did you talk to? That was my dad. He wants me home now. Let me guess, Smith is with them at home. Yes, he is. What do you want to do, Karen? What's the plan? I don't know yet. I'm not sure I want to marry him. But I'm not sure I want to call off the wedding either. Marry him then. Would you marry a man like him? A man who lied to you, cheated on you, and still blames you for everything that happened. I won't marry a man that doesn't accept that he's wrong. You must not marry him, Karen. You should know this. No one can force you. You need time. Then ask for it. He asks for a break too, to forgive you, remember? You can also ask for a break too, to forgive him. Okay. Let me go and meet my dad. Whatever decision you make, I am here for you, even if everyone is against it. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. I may not know much about marriage, but I'll learn. You are not ready, Angel. Why? Cause you're too young. What do you think marriage is? Like your boyfriend and girlfriend love, is that what it is? I know it's more than that. It is more than that and you're not ready. How old do I have to be to be ready? Is it until I'm almost 30 like you? Angel, you are insulting me but I will let that slide. You think you know it all and you are ready but you've got no idea darling. None. And do you have any idea? You're all knowledgeable and experienced. I'm not saying that. My marriage will work, Bianca. See, I'll marry Lawrence and there's nothing you can do about it. I'll marry him. He doesn't love you, Angel. Is it you he now loves? 
No, but he doesn't love you. That's what I'm sure of. He loves me, but you are just so jealous that he went for me. I didn't come begging you like you did expected him. Do you know why I did not marry Lawrence? He was in a rush about everything. He and I didn't know ourselves well. And he had so many stuff he was hiding. Plus, I didn't like him. Okay, well, I'm marrying him because I love him and he loves me. It takes more than love to make a marriage work. I know, and you don't need to tell me, Bianca. I am reading to get knowledge. Lawrence is only with you because he wants to make me jealous. Please, Angel, don't make that mistake of marrying him. I beg of you, Angel. You think everything is about you, but it's not. Lawrence and I have a date, sis. Thank you for all your advice giving. Thank you, but I don't need them. Your friend should be ashamed of himself. Why would he? Are you seriously asking me that question? I am, because I want to understand what you should be ashamed of exactly. What if those pictures came out? Oh, Mary, the mistake has been made already. We should be looking for solutions here. Yeah. How to make them get back to each other and make their marriage work. They aren't married yet. Smith was at a bad spot when all this happened. He was, I bet. That's why I was cheating on her. And you knew it. Even if I knew, what was I to do? You were here to tell me something, so I will warn Karen. If Smith lives his life, it is my business. I am not in his life as a spy. You men are always covering up for each other. Rubbish. If Karen slept with a man, would you tell me about it? I would. You are a liar. But I'll tell you this. Smith is a good man and he's changed. A good man who is cheated on his bride-to-be. I hope Karen calls off the wedding. Whatever decision she makes, she will be the one to live with it. Not me or you. I just hope she makes the right decision for herself. That was what would be the right decision. I don't know, Mary. What do you think is the right decision? I don't know too, but Smith is wrong here. And they admit it. Do you know why Josephine sent those pictures? Because she wants to break them and it's working from the look of things. I'm sorry, Carrie. I'm sorry, please. How could you do this to me? To us? I was angry and I wanted to take revenge. I wanted to hurt you back. By sleeping with another woman? Yes, and that's something I regret. I wish I didn't take those decisions I took. Did you still sleep with her after we settled? No, I didn't. I never did, Karen. I cut off ties with her, but she kept on disturbing me. She threatened me that she was going to show you pictures ruin our relationship. But I kept begging her. At the point, I stopped it all. I stopped caring and she acted like this. Was that why you didn't tell her about the wedding? Yes, I'm sure it was when she found out I was getting married to you. That was when she decided to act this way. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have cheated on me, Smith. I know, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did this, Karen. Really sorry. I know my dad asks that I forgive you and let it go. But what's the possibility you won't do this again once we are married? I will not do it again. I promise you, Karen. I will not. I'm not sure of anything right now. I need to think about everything. Please, allow me to think about it all. Mommy, please, you have to stop this. Stop what? Mommy, you can't let Lorenz marry my sister. I told you to keep your mouth off this topic, didn't I tell you, Bianca? I can't do that, Mom. I can't. Why not? What's the problem with all of this, Bianca? You don't want a man and he has gone for your sister and you are trying to cause a big deal out of it. He doesn't love my sister, mom. He doesn't. What makes you say that? How long have they even dated that he wants to marry her, mom? It's not about the length of the courtship. Look at you and Patrick, for instance. Mom, she's young, naive, and she thinks she loves him. Your sister isn't a baby. She knows what she's doing. You are blinded by money, mom. Money! Is that what you think of me? Mommy, if he was a poor man, I'm sure you would have told her not to marry him. But because he has money, you don't care about your daughter's happiness. I'm not that kind of mother, Bianca. I will never push my daughter to marry a bad man. I will never do that. Lawrence is a good man and is good for her. You are kind of different today. What's wrong? How am I different? It's like you are thinking about something. Tell me what's on your mind. Nothing's on my mind, Lawrence. I'm fine. You are lying, Angel. Lawrence, there are certain things I don't know about you. Like what and what? Like everything. Are you serious about not knowing everything about me or joking? I want to know you more, Lawrence. You can never know everything about me. Or anything you want to know, just ask me and I'll tell you. What kind of job do you do? Are you serious, Angel? You see all my companies and you're still asking me that. I am just asking. Have you been talking to your sister? You should the one putting this in your head. Not my sister. This is all just me, Lawrence. I want to know more about you. Dearly beloved, we gathered here today to witness the union of Smith and Karen in holy matrimony. Today is the celebration of love, commitment, and the beginning of a shared journey. Smith, do you take Karen to be a lawful wedded wife? I do. And Karen, do you take Smith to be a lawful wedded husband? I do. 
Excellent. Now, as we both embark on this sacred journey, remember that love is not just a feeling, it's a choice you are making every day. It's about patience, understanding, and a willing to grow together. We understand, John. We understand. Karen and I have shared so much, and I'm excited about our future together. That's wonderful to hear. Marriage is a partner. It's about facing challenges hand in hand and cherishing the joyous moments. I hope you both know this. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Smith, would you like to share your vows with Karen? Karen, from the moment we met, I knew there was something special about you. Today, I stand before you and our loved ones to promise you that I will support you, cherish you, and stand by you in all circumstances. I vow to be your confidant, your partner in adventures, and to love you unconditionally. Smith, my love. You're my rock and my confidant. I promise to stand by you in every season, to laugh with you in times of joy, and to provide comfort in times of sorrow. I pledge my love to you, cherishing the uniqueness of our bond. Beautiful vow indeed. Smith, you may now see your commitment with a kiss. I love you so much, Karen. Kiss the bride already, man. I understand how you feel about everything. Do you? Everyone thinks, oh, Bianca is jealous, but I'm not. I know that you are not jealous, but see, I don't think there's anything you can do about this. Really? Yeah, Lawrence has made up his mind to marry your sister. Can't I do anything? There's got to be a way to stop them. How do you want to do that, Bianca? How? I don't know, but I think Lawrence is doing all this to make me jealous and angry. Are you jealous? I'm angry, not jealous. How can he be marrying my sister? How can he be with me and also with her? Does it make any sense? If you talk this way, it will look like you're jealous. But I'm not. He's trying to hurt me here. He doesn't even love my sister. How? How long have they even been dating? It doesn't matter how long. Some date for long and at the end doesn't work. He doesn't love her. I love you, Bianca, and I want to be with you. I don't want to talk about me. That's not what is important here. Your sister has made up her mind, Bianca. I don't think anyone can change that. Mommy, I and Lawrence have been discussing about the wedding plans. Okay, Angel. How's the wedding planning going? You've both not told me anything. Everything is going well, Mom. We are thinking of a garden wedding. What do you think, Mom? Is it okay? Oh, that sounds lovely. Gardens are beautiful. But have you thought about a backup plan for bad weather? You know, we are close to rainy season. Our rain can fall anytime it likes. That's true, Mom. We are considering that, but I still want a garden wedding. It's your day. You should have your wedding as you like in jail. What else have you both decided on? We want a small guest list, just close friends and family. Is that cool? Totally. Small weddings are nice. You both should just include the people who matters most in the wedding list. We'll have it in mind. All my siblings are coming. No problem, mom. Just a simple traditional and white wedding, mom. I love it, Angel. What about your outfits? Have you decided yet? We are shipping in the clothes, mom. Wow. Really? Yes, mom. He wants me to wear the best outfit, the one that no one has seen. So we are talking to a designer in UK. What about me and your sister? Our outfits? Mom, your outfit will be lovely. For my sister, I don't think she will attend the wedding. Why not? She still doesn't want me to marry Lawrence, mom. She will attend the wedding. She doesn't have a choice here. Mommy, don't force her on anything, please. I'll buy her own outfit as well. If she likes, she can wear it or not. Smith, can you believe we are finally on our honeymoon? It feels like a dream. I know, Karen. I'm so happy we are here together. Me too. It's so peaceful. Just the sound of the waves and the warmth of the sun. This is exactly what we needed after the wedding. Definitely. And after all the planning, it was nice to just relax and enjoy each other's company. How do you feel about our first few days as a marriage couple? It's been amazing, Smith. I love waking up next to you every morning. And those lazy afternoons by the pool are just so sweet. I couldn't agree more. I love the way your face lights up when you see something new. Like that cute little market we found yesterday. Oh, that market was adorable. I never expected to find such unique souvenirs. And the locals were so friendly. That's what make travel special. Those unexpected discoveries and connections. I'm glad we get to experience it together. Me too, Smith. I can't wait to explore more of this beautiful place with you. Do you have any plans for tomorrow? Your plans are my plans, Karen. I've got something in mind. I will take a boat tour. That was a great idea. And I'm sorry, Karen. I'm truly sorry for everything I did wrong to you. I'm forgiving you. This is a new start, like my dad said. And all that is in the past. Don't just do it again, Smith. I will never cheat on you. I don't know what made me to make such a bad decision. It's cause you were really angry with me. Still, I shouldn't have done all of that. Anger ruins things, Karen. Yes, it does. 
I'm promising you that I will never cheat on you. I'm promising you the same, Smith. I will never cheat on you. This honeymoon is just the beginning of our journey, and I'm looking forward to every moment with you, Karen. Likewise, Smith. Yes, to a lifetime of adventures and making beautiful memories together. Cheers. Cheers, my love. I'm so grateful to share this incredible journey of a lifetime with you.